On this episode of Camp Outside, we take a look at campsites 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 at Elijah Clark State Park in Georgia. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today we're going to take a look at some of the campsites in Area 1 of the campground at Elijah Clark State Park in Lincolnton, Georgia. Elijah Clark State Park is right on Clarks Hill Lake, which is a 111 square mile reservoir on the Savannah River between Georgia and South Carolina. It is a fantastic place to camp and to boat and just explore the water, to swim, uh, to fish. Just an amazing place to go. We really enjoyed our stay. We spent a whole spring break there. If you haven't seen it yet, check out our campground review video for Elijah Clark State Park and also our park overview video. We've also done a hiking video for Elijah Clark State Park and we also did a What's Cooking episode where we cooked a low country boil at the campsite. So be sure to check out those videos. I'll put all those down in the description below. With that, let's get to the campsites. Elijah Clark State Park is east of Atlanta on the border between Georgia and South Carolina on the Savannah River. It's easily accessed by Athens and Knoxville, Charlotte, and Augusta and Macon in Atlanta, Georgia. Elijah Clark State Park is a large state park with lots to see and do. There are two campgrounds, cabins to rent, the Elijah Clark Homestead, and of course, Clarks Hill Lake. Here are the two camping areas in Elijah Clark State Park. There's Area 1 and Area 2, and it is the largest campground in the Georgia State Park system. The restroom nearest the sites we're going to take a look at today is restroom number 5. Restroom 5 is a full-service restroom with running water, hot showers, and flush toilets, and has laundry facilities co-located. The first site we're going to take a look at today is site number 25. Site 25 is a back-in site in campground number one. So here's a look at site 25 from the main road. This road in the campground is a two-way road, so traffic travels in both directions. And as you can see, this site is right on the water. These sites aren't terribly big, and they're somewhat close together. So you don't have a whole lot of privacy, but I think the water view more than makes up for the uh, small size and lack of privacy. As we make our way into the site, you can see this site is equipped with a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move, a fire pit with grill grate, and then water and electric hookup on the right side. These sites do not have sewer hookup, and there was a cable TV hookup uh, at the campground, but since we're tent campers, we weren't able to test them. You can beach boats at the campsite, but you have to watch out for rocks. As you can see, the back of this site is very rocky and probably not suitable for a boat, but there are areas where you can, and there's a, uh, there's a boat ramp in the campground itself. And that's a look at site number 25. We're going to take a look at the next site, which is right next to it, site number 26, which is also a back-end site in campground number 1. It's also right on the water. So if you have a really long tow rig or a really long RV, uh, you might have a little bit of trouble fitting into these sites. Uh, I see people with large travel trailers park their trucks parallel to the road uh, to, make it, uh, to make it fit. Uh, just like Site 25, this site has a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move, a fire pit with grill grate and water and electric hookup, no sewer hookup. Again, a uh, pretty much a rocky shoreline, so it would be hard to beat your boat behind the site if you are thinking about doing that. There's the fire pit with grow grate. And that's a look at site number 26. We're going to just keep going down the line here and we're going to take a look at site number 27 which is another back end site on the water in area one. So 
So again, looking from the main road, you can see that this site does have a little bit of distance between it and 26, which is nice. This site is another somewhat short site with a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move, a fire pit with grow grate, and water and electric hookup. These sites are level. And again, out of the back of the site, you see great views of the water, but a rocky shoreline that is not suitable for beaching a boat. And that's site 28. The next site we're going to take a look at is site number 28, which is a pull-through site with a water view in campground number one. So as you can see, this site is right next to site 27, but it is different in that it is a pull-through site instead of a back-end. As we make our way in, you can see that uh, on the left-hand side will be your water and electric hookup as well as your cable TV hookup. Again, no sewer hookups in Elijah Clark State Park Campground. So there's the water and electric hookup right there. And then on the right side of the site, the water side, will be a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. Again, a rocky shoreline that is not suitable. But as you can see, just down the way a little bit is a nice sandy beach, so you could beach your boat there. This site is equipped with a picnic table that you can move and a fire pit with grill grate. And the exit to this site kind of runs into the uh, back end site next to it, so you want to make sure that you don't uh, interfere with your neighbors and access to their site. That's the restroom up the hill there in the distance, restroom number five. And that's a look at site number 28. And the last site we're going to take a look at is site number 29, which was right next to 28. Site 29 is a back-end site in campground number one. So again, tra uh, traffic travels in both directions on this loop road, so just be aware of that. And as you can see, this site shares its entrance with the uh, exit to site number 28. So you have to be careful when you're parking there that you're not blocking your neighbor, which does take away a little bit of uh, use of the site. The site isn't terribly deep, but it is wider than some of the other sites, which is nice. It does have water and electric hookup, as well as cable TV hookup. The site is level. And at the back of this site is a sandy area, which is fantastic for just walking along the water, or if you wanted to beach your boat behind your site, you could do that. This site is equipped with a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move and a fire pit with grill grate. And that's a look at the sites in this video. So I hope you found those video reviews useful. We do this everywhere we go to make it easier for you to select a campsite when you're going camping. So Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So we're giving away free camping, hiking, and fishing gear. So if you haven't yet, check out this video. I'm also going to put a link down in the description below that details how you can enter our giveaways for free gear. So definitely check that video out and enter to win our free gear. 
we give away some great stuff, guys, so definitely stay tuned to that. So we produce new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday right here on YouTube at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite reviews, and our Thursday videos are on a wide range of topics, including camping, hiking, fishing, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, and a whole lot more. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you to release, that, release new videos, and hit that like button for me. Guys, also, if you want to help us continue to grow and get this content out to you, all these campsite and campground reviews, we would love it if you could support us by using our affiliate links when you buy outdoor gear. We have a ton of great affiliates from Walmart to Amazon to Moose Jaw, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, TireRack.com, Toadfish Outfitters, Thermosel, Pure Fishing, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Penn, Roughwear, if you've got dogs. We've got fantastic affiliates, guys. And when you use our links to purchase online, we get a little commission on the sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help us bring these videos to you and to keep Kemp outside, uh, reaching more and more people to help them get their kids outside. So if you want to help us out, guys, we would love it if you'd use our links. Again, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just gives us a little commission on the sale. So thanks so much for that. Guys, thank you so much for, for connecting and sending messages to me. I love to hear from you. So you can either drop a comment below in this video or you can connect with us on any of our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links to those are down in the description below. You can type a comment on any of our posts or send me a direct message anywhere. I love hearing from you guys. It is awesome. It makes this all worthwhile. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely like, comment, and share the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And we will see you next time on Kemp Outside.